Hallelujah. Will it interest you to note that the first song they rendered, am I lying, President? The two. Wow, I thought it was just the one. The song the choristers, women choristers rendered, they composed it. Somebody composed it. Okay, somebody said I should be clear. One of them composed those songs. So please, if you are appreciating God, appreciate God more. For the wondrous gift that God is giving all of us in Maple Leaf. Wondrous gift is making all of us. I once appreciated God, and we always appreciate, appreciate God. That there is no ashaku. There is no leftover Amen. among the brethren in Foursquare. And in Maple Leaf Foursquare Gospel Church, including the children. See, when they came in, all of them are leaders. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. We've been doing well in keeping to time. And then by the grace of God, God will also help me to keep to time so I will not drag us drag God's back. Hallelujah. We have prayed. Um, the theme for the Mother's Day uh, for this year, 2024, is Mother's Law. Mother's Law. Let me jump and then uh, save me some time. Let me save some time. And without going through the repetition of greeting every one of us Mother's Day. We've already greeted ourselves. But let me do something. If you are a mother here, you are a mother, and your mother is here. You are a mother, and your mother is here. I want you to go show a love. Show love. Where I came from, they kneel down with their two knees. But where I am, they hug. I don't know how you want to do it. Just go. They left and they flew. What is that sea? Atlantic Ocean to come visit you, to come take care of your child. I want you to show love quickly. Hallelujah. Show love quickly. Say, Mommy, I love you. And if your mommy is not here, why not say a word of prayer to her wherever she is? Mommy, I love you. Yeah, my daughter is doing this for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. God will bless. Where is that, Yoko? Don't make grandma miss that opportunity. Grandma, we love you. Grandma, Godfrey, wherever you are now, we love you, ma. Grandma, uh, Bro Paul, we love you, ma. God bless you in Jesus' name. And then all the mothers in the house, if your fa husband is here, why not go to your husband and say, thank you, my husband, for making me a mother, allowing me to be a mother. Thank you, sir. Oh, Thank you for allowing me to be a mother. God bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to the name of the Lord. We cannot be a mother without this wonderful man, without our husband. Glory be to God. So when we are celebrating ourselves, we should celebrate them. Thank you, Daddy, for coming to see your son. I know people who have been, whose children have been in this North America, 10 years, 20 years, not because they don't have money to fly, but they've not deemed it fit. Thank you for playing the role of a mother this morning. Hallelujah. God bless every one of us in Jesus' name. Our God is good. Without taking our time, um, the team I said is mother's love. Permits me to coin out another topic from that team. Mother's love in complex situation. Mother's love in complicated situation. You might say, when mommy, the mommies around were bringing us up, it was easy for them. Ma, was it easy? There are some complicated, complex, complex situations.
situations around them. Those were the days of Bomo Bomo. And there is no excess vehicle to take a child to school. So they commit their child or their children to faith until 2 o'clock. Yes, ma'am. The children will go 8 a.m. until, no, before 8, because they have to be in school by 8. Yes. So they leave them to the world to go. And they are home praying, not panicking. But they are looking up to God. Father, bring her back, bring him back. That's what they went through. And they went through many, many, many more. God saw them through. How? Because they held on to God. Hallelujah. If it is possible for all the women to get seated, I will love it. If it is possible for us to suspend what we are doing now, I will so don't divide the church. Hallelujah. Motherhood. Mother's love in complex situation. The Bible text for today is taken from Exodus chapter 3, verse 26, and no, 1 Kings 3, 26, and Exodus chapter 2, 1 to 5. Thank you. I look at the case study in this um, Bible text. By the way, let us quickly read it. Exodus chapter 3, 1 Kings 3, 26, Exodus 2, 1 to 5. Do I have a brother, a father in the house, so please help me. Um, 1 Kings 3, 26, Exodus 2, 1 to 5. Thank you, sir. First king. Oh, say uh, Exodus. Two, I read that first king like you know they, Maybe that's why I'm repeating it. I read it. Two, one to five. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Hebrews 11.23. Hebrews 11.23. Faith. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was eat three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child. And they were not afraid of the king's commandment. God bless you, sir. And it's important for us to read that Hebrews 11, 23, and uh, because that place mentioned the parents. Amen? But thank God for our, mo our mothers. The characters we have in these chapters, um, verses that we have read, we are looking at four of them. If you were at our Sunday school, glory be to God, justice has been made. Amen. Mother's love in complex situation. A call for extraordinary service. It's true. Every mother will love his child. By the way, I have it here. Who is a mother? Dictionary might tell you is one who has children. But if you go further to look at the definition of mother, 
is not necessarily someone with a child who is a musician. It is not someone that has a piano. You may have a piano, you are not a musician. You may be a musician, you do not have a piano. The fact that you don't have a piano does not disqualify you from being a musician. You are a musician for the love you have for music. Praise the Lord. You are a mother for the love you have for children. Amen? You are a mother for the love you have for children, your biological children, children out there, the love you have for God's creation. Mother's love in complex situation. The two, uh, the three, uh, or the two cases we are looking at this morning were complex situations. All of us know the story, so I will not be taking us through the story. Let's look at the life application. What does the Bible has in it for us? There was a woman whose child was dead. After the, the judgment, all of us knew that it was the owner of the ch dead child. At that point in her, knowing she was the owner of the dead child, she was a woman characterized with ardent heart. She was a woman characterized with vengeance. She was a woman characterized with hate. Amen? She was a woman that is not looking for the good in others. The fact that she has made that mistake is not the end of life. Are we together? She made a mistake. Another one can come in another nine months. But she hold on to know, if I cannot have it, another person must not have it. I want to believe we don't have such a mother in our midst. You can make a mistake as a child of God. That is not the end of life. That is not an opportunity for you to harden your heart. It's, another, it's, another, it's not an opportunity for you to do wickedly against one another. She added her heart. God is looking for someone with a broken heart. God is looking for someone who will come to me and say, Father, I am a sinner. I repent of my sin. And God says, as many that come to him, he will not do what? It will in no wise cast them out. When you make a mistake, please run to God. The second woman is a woman that was a judge as the woman with the living child. Men and brethren, two of them were alots. What makes them an alot? I don't want to go into that. When we call someone an alot, by our criteria, they are sinners. Amen? A sword is raised against the child of this alot. A sword is raised against a living child. What did she do? She cried. She cried for mercy. She was a woman in a complex situation. She was a woman in a difficult time. What did she, did she do? She cried. Amen. Our God is God that hears our cry, especially that of a mother. Amen? When you are in a complex situation, I want to tell us, our parents who have nursed us, that we are mothers today, have gone through such worse situation. They looked up to God. I'm talking to Maple Leaf women and all women that you are hearing us. Complex situation will always be. Amen? Complex situation will always be. At that moment, look up to God. This woman cried unto God and God did what? God healed him. Psalm 
34, 17 to 20, he said, The Lord is near to those who have broken out and save such of a contrite spirit. And it goes on and on and says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many was the affliction of this woman. She had just gotten an infant. But look at the enemy. The Bible says the enemy did what? He came to kill. To steal, to kill, and do what? And to destroy. Our son has been stolen. Our son has been stolen by the enemy. And a sword has been raised to kill, to destroy a child. But he looked up to God. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God de delivers from them all. From every affliction you are facing as a woman. As a woman training your children in a complex situation. God will come to your rescue. God will come to attend to your cry. In the name of Jesus. Nothing your child in complex situation. If it is rosy, well, it is easy to show love. What about you are facing sword raised against your children? And I pray and I prophesy the word of God to you that no matter the scepter, no matter the rod, how did the Bible put it? The Bible says, uh, the scepter of the wicked. Amen? The rod of the wicked will not fall on the land allotted to the righteous. If you are a righteous by the blood of Jesus in the land, lift up your hands to the heavens. The Bible is telling you, the rod of the wicked will not fall upon your children, will not fall upon your land in the name of Jesus. It was a sword. Solomon commanded that they raise the sword to kill the living child. And this woman cried. This woman cried to the Lord. It was the same sword that Pharaoh gave to his soldiers. When any of the Israelites give birth, slaughter them. It was the same sword. But God was with these people. The prostitute in First King, we will say, did not know God. But she cried for mercy. God answered. As a sinner, if you can cry for mercy as touching your children, God will do what? God will answer you. Take it home. As a child of God, I don't know the school that um, Joshebet went to. I don't know. That he was that creative. That he played that strategy to go what? To pull the child by the side of the water. He knew that the God is serving is the God of the ocean. And we will not allow ocean to flow, to, to consume the child. It was a strategy. God gave Solomon wisdom. God gave that a lot wisdom to cry out. God gave Joshua wisdom to, be, to strategize. God will give you wisdom to train your children, to protect your children, to provide for your children, to keep your children in the name of Jesus. I tell you, as many of us that are in this land, we are not having it rosy, but the rules and regulations in town. Amen? But if those ones, in the time of sword, their children survive, your children, my children, will survive it. It doesn't matter the sword that is raised up by a rule, by a legislation, by a new way of life. I, told, I tell you, according to God, because God who holds tomorrow is alive, you and my children, your, your children and mine, we will survive this complex situation. But let's learn from what these women did, not from the first woman. She hold on to her sin. Sin upon sin. She was increasing her sin. She's ready to die in her sin. Don't die in your sin. Come to Jesus today. And he will give you rest from all your toys. He will give you rest from all your labors. 
in the name of Jesus. The woman spoke. Don't kill the child. Give her. It was not the best of decision. Mommy, somebody that was so careless, so careless to sleep over an infant child until that child died, he cannot take care of a 20 years old child. That same person cannot take care of teenagers, not even the teenagers of these days. So the decision was not the best of decision, but because God is on your side, every decision that you have made in time of your agony, that you made in good faith, that you made because of the love you have for your children, my God, the almighty God, will step into that decision and turn it around for good. Our verdict was given to her, let her take it. Maybe one day we can do DNA. Maybe one day the child will say, oh, this face familiar, you are my mother. But that was our thought. But giving it to the adult is not the best. But because God is in heaven, God that rules in the affairs of men, a just God, one of the names of God that I know in my time of difficulty is what? God, you are a just God. He said, just God, he will fight your battle. Solomon, in his wisdom, did not give the child to the first woman. And Solomon said, in Exodus 3, um, first key, <laughs> first key. And he said, this is the real mother. This is the real mother of the living child. You are the real mother. Your child will be alive. Your child will live. Your child will not die. Your child will overcome. Your child will succeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And there was a Miriam. And there was a Miriam. I want to tell all the young ladies around, those eligibles, motherhood is not difficult. Amen. Don't be afraid. They are smiling. God bless you. Motherhood is not what? It's not difficult. If God, thank God we have like many generations here this morning. If God can see our parents through and he's seen us through, he will see you through. Motherhood is tasking, but it's not killing. So when it's time for you to go into it, go into it with faith. Joshebeth is known as a mother that trusted God. As a mother that acted in faith. If you read um, Exodus, what verse now? The Bible told me that Pharaoh acted in fear. Fear that the Israelites will one day, by the way they were multiplying, multiplying, multiplying. He raised up sword out of fear that one day the Israelites will overpower, outnumber the Egyptians. Joshebed acted in faith. Can you see the work of fear? Can you see the work of fear? Some trust in Sharot, some in Osses. But if you remember the name of the Lord your God, you will be more than an overcomer. Trust in the Lord as you are training your children. It is a call for us to do extraordinary things. What is going on in our environment? What is going on in our days today? It's making us as parents to sit tight. To do what? To stand and fight. It's not the day that you buy, you buy the treasure books for your children and you tell them, go and read it. It's not the day you say, oh, I want to rest up. Go and be watching TV. It's the day that you stand and fight for your children, that my children will serve the Lord. It's a day that you use everything in you to rescue your children. Mother's love. It's not only about getting pregnant. When you are getting pregnant, you are doing your own enjoyment. 
Amen. It is not love for the children that makes you. The love comes when they are now in your hands. When it's for you now to provide protection. When it's for you now to provide faith. Inculcate faith in them. It was the faith that was inculcated in Moses that made him remember anywhere he goes. That even though he was raised in the palace, he's a prince of God. He's ordained of God. Even though they were raised in Toronto, in that country very well. Even though they were raised in the prime minister's corner, Labara, they are Albara, they are children of God. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And I look. Samson was trained by godly parents. At a point, Samson messed up. Am I correct? At a time, Samson messed up. And I look, where is the mother of Samson? The Bible did not tell us where she was when the boy decided to disobey them. But you know what? In, a, in my inner spirit, I saw the woman crying. I saw the woman praying. Even though Samson was raised, trained up a child in the way he should go. Samson has been trained in the way he should go. The mother has kept to all the rules of shaving his head, the kind of food she will eat. The mother has kept to all those things. But Samson messed up. I read my scriptures, and the Bible recorded, uh, what's her name now? Manua. Manua amongst the women of faith. In other words, she did her best. So the seed of seed in your children. Amen. So the seed of righteousness, the seed of God in your children. If it seems that they are going left when they should be going right, keep on praying. The God who is in heaven will never let them stumble. They are coming back. What did I say? They are coming back because that seed will germinate. That seed will not leave them. Mother's love in complex situation is a call for extraordinary service. It's a call to stand out for what is true. It's a call never to rest on yesterday's success. I want to round up. And I want to leave us with this prayer, women. Isaiah 49, verse 25. Isaiah 49, 25. For I will contend with him who contends with you. God contended with that sword. And God saved his ch the child. And I will save your children. God contended with Pharaoh and saved Moses. I will contend with him that who contends you. And I will save your children. Proverbs eleven twenty one. Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpolished. But the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. Our children will be delivered from any unholy teachings in the land. They will be delivered from any danger in the land. And great shall be our success. Shall we rise on our feet? Hallelujah. Mother's love in complex situation. You can ask for God for grace. I don't know what you are going through as a mother. If God can see those ones through, two cases, one knew God, one did not know God. But both of them acted in faith, and God came to their rescue. God will come to your rescue. Hallelujah.